If you go into the school toilets and knock on the third door from the end three times, then call out, Is Hanako-san there? Hanako-san, Hanako-san, please come out. You will receive an answer. When you open the door, a girl with a bob haircut in a red skirt will drag you into the toilet. Hello, and welcome to Toshiden, exploring Japanese urban legends. I'm your host, Tara A. Devlin, and on this show we'll be looking at different urban legends from Japan, how they came about, and, when possible, the truth behind them. This week, we're going to be talking about one of the most popular and enduring urban legends of all, Hanako-san of the Toilet. There's probably no more famous ghost story in Japan than that of Hanako-san of the Toilet. You would be hard pressed to find someone who hasn't heard of her. Everyone knows her. Hanako-san is especially popular with elementary school children, as they are the ones that she targets. And elementary school kids sure do love a good ghost story. There are almost as many variations for Hanako-san as there are kids in schools. But the most basic form of the legend involves knocking on the third toilet door from the end and asking Hanako-san if she's there and or to come out. What she does after that depends on where you live and what version of the story they tell there. But it generally ends in death. She's well known for her bob haircut and she wears a white shirt and red skirt. Hanako-san has been around since at least the 1950s, when her story was known as Sanbanmen no Hanako-san, Hanako-san of the third toilet stall. This story spread to schools around the country in the 80s, where it really kicked off. And in the 90s, Hanako-san led the school ghost stories boom. She received an incredible amount of media attention, with films, anime, manga, and more. This made it near impossible not to have at least heard of Hanako-san, and how she wants to drag you into the toilet with her. It's possible that Hanako-san's roots go even further back, however. From the Edo period, until the start of the Showa period, around the 1800s to the 1920s, there was a religion dedicated to Kawayagami, the god of toilets. Kawayagami was generally depicted as a woman who was blind and had no hands. The toilet, not just the porcelain bowl we sit on today, but the room and the area itself, has long played an important role in Japanese culture and has traditionally held strong ties to pregnancy and childbirth. It was passed down that pregnant women who kept their toilets clean and beautiful would then give birth to a clean and beautiful child. As such, these rooms were looked after with the utmost care, decorated with flowers and dolls of little girls dressed in red and white as a sign of devotion to kawayagami. Red and white have long been seen as auspicious colours in Japan, as you may have noticed from the Japanese flag. After the war, this religion died out, but people continued to decorate their toilets with flowers regardless. Flowers in Japanese are pronounced hana, and the kanji is often used in girls' names, such as Hanako, flower child. It's not too much of a stretch to see how the flowers and red and white little girls' dolls from a dead toilet-based religion might later be picked up as the basis for the story of a little girl dressed in red and white, named Hanako-san, who's found in the toilet. 
But who is Hanako-san? Like many other urban legends, Hanako-san has several origin tales, depending on who you want to believe. The first states that she was attacked by a pervert while playing at school. She hid in the third toilet stall, and when the man found her there, he killed her. Another says that Hanako-san is the ghost of a girl who was abused by her father when alive. The bob cut she's so famous for was to disguise the scars she received from her father. Alternatively, another story tells that Hanako-san's mother was abusive. She chased the girl to school, where she hid in the toilets, but her mother eventually found her there and killed her. Another story tells of Hanako-san playing hide-and-seek during the war, and while she was hiding in the toilet, there was an air raid, and she died. Yet another story tells of Hanako-san as a girl who was picking persimmons for a senior citizen's home. She died in a traffic accident one day, and her ghost took up residence in the persimmon tree. In this case, this particular Hanako-san is known as Hanako-san from the top of the persimmon tree, and not the toilet. Another story, and perhaps one of the most common, says that her real name was Nagatanigawa Hanako, and she was born in 1879. She disliked milk and the colour white, but she liked red and blue. She was in the table tennis club and was prone to hay fever. It's said that her grave sits behind the gym of a school in Tokyo today. There's a particular story that elaborates on the story featuring abuse from her mother. This one is presented as the true story behind Hanako-san's origin supposedly a real-life incident that took place in 1938 in Tono Elementary School in Iwate Prefecture. A girl named Ikuko was chased down by her insane mother and found in the toilets behind the school gym. There's no evidence from newspapers or other media at the time that the event actually took place, however, so It's most likely another fictional story that was made up long after the supposed events took place. But it goes as follows. A family of five lived behind Tono Elementary School. The father was a police officer and breadwinner for the family. The mother, like many other women at the time, was a housewife. Her husband, however, was a prolific philanderer, and one day, he went to a nearby hot spring with a prostitute he was friendly with. The mother, of course, was aware of this, and was driven insane with jealousy. Unable to bear it any longer, the mother reached her limit and came upon a terrible answer to her problem. Family suicide. The insane woman first choked her oldest son to death, and then her youngest daughter, before burying them both. Her oldest daughter, a fifth grade girl named Ikuko, ran for her life. She ran to Tono Elementary School, located behind their house. The school was large, with many places to hide. She managed to reach the school and began looking for somewhere to conceal herself. Her mother chased her into the school. A janitor was working when the mother approached him with a fearsome look on her face. Where is that child? she asked. Huh? Ah, if you mean that girl, I saw her enter the toilets behind the gym, the janitor replied. Unfortunately for her, the janitor saw her as she passed by. 
The door to the third stall was closed. Clearly, the girl was in there. The mother grabbed her and dragged her back home where she choked and buried her with the other children. After her death, the girl's spirit often appeared in the third stall toilet where she was found by her mother. Now you might be wondering, if the girl's name was Ikuko, then why does the legend state her name is Hanako? One theory suggests that's because Hanako is a common name, and thus easy to remember. Kind of like Bob or Jane in English. It's a common name that could be used anytime, anywhere, and is easy to remember. So rather than leaving the toilet ghost nameless, over time she was given the nickname Hanako-san, and it stuck. There are several variations on how you can summon Hanako-san, but this is generally the most common way. First, after school, or on a day off, when there aren't many people around, Go to the toilets on the third floor. Second, knock on the first door three times and ask, is Hanako-san there? Third, repeat step two for each door three times. Once you have done this, you'll receive a reply from the third stall from the end. Lastly, open that door. The key, as you may have already guessed, is the number three. No particular reason is given as to why the number three is so important here, but regardless of the variation, they all involve the number three somehow. Usually, that's just the third toilet stall from the end. But in cases like the above, it can involve doing a lot of things three times before you can successfully summon her. In addition to the various ways you can summon her, there are several regional variations as to what Hanako-san will do once summoned as well. In Yamagata Prefecture, when you try to leave the toilets after summoning Hanako-san, she will reply as usual. However, if she's in a bad mood that day, her voice will resemble more ogre than girl. Another rumor says that in reality, Hanako-san is a giant three meter long lizard with three heads, and it uses a girl's voice to lure people into its trap before eating them. In Iwate, after summoning Hanako-san, something terrible will happen in the third stall from the front. Once you enter this stall, a voice will appear from nowhere, saying, Hanako-san, from the third stall, as a large white hand reaches out and grabs you from the toilet. In Kanagawa, Hanako-san is most often thought to appear in the female toilets. Yet, in Shinagawa, she appears in the boys' toilets. You must walk around the urinals three times, calling out, Hanako-san! Then a giant, bloody hand will appear and pull you in. Another rumor states that Hanako-san can be found in the girls' toilets while a boy named Yosuke-san can be found in the boys. If you don't run away within three seconds of calling either of them, you will be killed. In Shimane, if you refuse to play with Hanako-san, she will chase you down. In Hyogo, in the first stall you'll find Hanako's father, the second her mother, the fourth, her younger sister, and the fifth, her younger brother. 
In the second stall of the boys' toilets, you'll find her grandfather. If you call any of them, they'll ask, What do you want with our Hanako-san? Another rumour states that she has relatives, also ghosts, called Hanao and Okako. Each year, her family gathers in Gunma Prefecture to discuss their plans for the upcoming year. She also has a ghostly boyfriend named Taro, who can be found playing basketball in the school gym late at night. In Osaka, when you summon Hanako-san and knock on the door, she will reply in standard Japanese, That's dangerous. Stop it. Of course, Osaka is famous for Osaka-ben, or the Osaka dialect, which is often used by comedians for laughs. The joke here is that Hanako-san does the opposite, instead replying in standard Japanese, in the home of Osaka-ben. In Tokyo, in a certain elementary school, if you call out Hanako-san, in the back of the third floor girls' toilets, she will reply with What? If you say Hanako-san, I'm sorry, after 4pm, she'll reply with It's okay. In Gifu, in one school there's an old-style pit latrine, and if you circle it three times and call out Hanako-san, she'll reply with Yes? In Saitama, we finally find a story that breaks the mould. If you knock on the fourth toilet stall 15 times, and ask, Hanako-san, let's play. She will reply with, okay. In Nagano, if you knock on the third toilet stall and call out, Yukiko-san, you'll get a reply. And finally, in Chiba, if you knock on the second stall in the second floor toilets three times and ask for, Mi-chan, while flushing, you'll get a reply. But there are also a few other variations that aren't region dependent. For example, if you ask Hanako-san to play, she'll often ask you what you want to do. If you answer with make-believe choking, she will actually choke you to death. This ties in with the Ikiko story where she was choked to death. If the sign that marks the female toilets fades away, another story says that Hanako-san will take a pen and redraw it. If you call out your thanks to her, she will reply that it's her way of giving back after scaring everybody all day in the toilets. In another version, there's one school where there were twins by the names of Kanako and Kayoko. Both of these names use the kanji for Hana. Kanako died in an accident, and after that, Kayoko was often mistaken for her ghost. She then ended up killing herself because of it, and now their ghosts appear as the twin Hanakos. And yet another story says that if you don't knock on the third toilet stall five times and call out Hanako-san three times, that door will refuse to open. If you try to force it, you will become paralysed and then finally spirited away. So if you are brave enough, or perhaps silly enough, to call Hanako-san in the first place, how can you escape her ghostly clutches? The following are proven methods of escape. 
the moment you open the toilet door, you must show her a test paper with a perfect score of 100. Hanako-san will be so frightened that she'll disappear. Tests are, of course, a big deal in Japan, and children are particularly frightened of them. It's said that Hanako-san will be so jealous of that perfect score that she'll just up and disappear. Another method involves throwing a page of unfinished math drills at her, with Hanako's name written on top. This will freak her out and she'll run, leaving you time to escape. If you don't wish to scare or shame the poor girl into non-existence, you can choose the kinder path of apologizing to her. Looking at it from Hanako-san's point of view, people constantly banging on her toilet door and calling her out for their own amusement must get tiring and bring her down as well. If you carry out the ritual and manage to actually meet Hanako-san, consider apologizing to her. Those who have met her say this is the most effective method of escape. And probably the easiest for those of us who don't have a perfect 100 point test to shove in her face. And that brings us to the end of this week's episode. The next episode will actually be the final for Toshiden. I'd like to thank everyone who has listened so far, and thank you for all your support. Toshiden was always intended to run for a limited amount of time before ending, and that time has finally come. The Koabana podcast will continue as usual, however, so if you're not listening to that one yet, feel free to check it out. Thanks guys, and I'll see you again next time for the final episode of Toshiden. Exploring Japanese Urban Legends Want even more scary stories? Head over to koobana.net for new translations every week. You can also join our Patreon for exclusive stories you won't find anywhere else. Head over to koobana.net now.